Kelly, can you sum up that game? A really tough three quarters and then just let it go in the final. Yeah, gosh, that was a huge game. Um, we couldn't hear each other from the first whistle. Um, the crowd was intense. Um, heaps of English supporters, heaps of Kiwi supporters. We could hear the chants going right throughout the game. But in terms of the on-court play, it was just golf goal, wasn't it? Very much a defensive game. Um, I think both teams struggled to um, get the ball down court um, and through the hoop, uh, which I guess that is a tick for us as defence, because um, that's what we wanted. We put England under pressure. We got um, some good games. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, those last couple of minutes, we, uh, we capitulated and we can't afford to do that. Talk to your change from wing defence back into the circle. How was that transition for you today? Yeah, it kind of feels like going back home. Um, Goalkeeps obviously my um, usual position, so I actually quite enjoyed it. I love um, playing the English. I've matched up against Eleanor quite a few times, so I um, knew what it would take, and um, yeah, so really gutted with the result. Talk us through the critical moments in that fourth quarter that uh, meant that you didn't get the result you wanted. Yeah, it was just those silly errors, and um, they've been popping up right throughout the tournament for us, and they're just not good enough. Um, you know, they are both individual and as a collective. Um, it's on all of us because we're putting that kind of pressure on each other. But yeah, just unfortunate and um, couldn't quite get there today. How do you set your focus now to look at that bronze medal match to make, make sure you come away with the medal? A hundred percent. We don't want to go home empty handed. Um, I could almost guarantee um, in the build up to this tournament we've worked the hardest out of all the teams. So we need something to take home to show for it. Um, I see the frustration on your face, you were forcing so many turnovers at the defensive end and then it, not all of it was, I guess, converted at the attacking end. Is that frustrating for you seeing that? Yeah, it is frustrating, but as a defender we've just got to keep going and going and try to get as many balls as possible and if it keeps coming back it means we've got more opportunity to get gains. Uh, can you tell us about, I guess, the physical battle? It looked like it was pretty blow for blow out there. Yeah, um, England were running with us for every catch and um, we'd like to say we did the same to them, put them under pressure um, right throughout the court. And, but yeah, they're a great side, they've got some really good experience in their team and have had a great tournament so far. Is the fact that you, you have to play again a bit overwhelming at this point given the emotion of that contest is only around Yeah, I think right now we're probably not thinking too far ahead um, to that but we've got to, you know, flip into that quite quickly. Um, you know, it's, 24 hours and we've got to be on this court again to get that medal so I know we're going to use this pain and heartache and um, turn that into I guess power for tomorrow. Is there anything you change about today's game and the way you've played other games? Uh, if we could do it for 60 minutes that would be great not just stopping at the third quarter.